Hey everyone, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I want to show you how to use your Connect as a webcam in OBS. Now, this will not work in Skype or um, other programs like that as an actual webcam. I did play with the connectcam.ax file as well as a few of the other applications that have been released, but I did not have very good success with those. But you can still use OBS as a webcam and set that up so that it goes from, um, so you can not only stream with the Connect running as a webcam through OBS, but you can actually virtualize OBS as a webcam with a plugin. So I figured this would be a good way to um, at least get an entry point into using your Connect as a webcam. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and start off by um, using the developer toolkit browser. In my other Connect video about using your uh, Connect on Windows, um, I show you how to install the drivers for the Connect as well as the developer toolkit for the Connect. The one that has the most features is way at the bottom. Uh, let's see, where is it? Let's see, let's see. There's one that was really, really good, so I want us to use that one because it has some features that we can customize. So, was it C? I guess we could use. Okay, Connect Explorer. Here it is. So, it's a C sharp file. Um, the reason I like this one specifically is because it lets you switch between all of these different um, settings. So the angle, for example, I can go to the sensor and I can actually tilt the camera up because I don't want you to see my kitchen and such. Um, I can also switch it with other types of um, views like for example the color stream I could choose um, 640 by 480 at 30 frames a second I can choose high resolution 1280 by 960 at 12 frames per second um, I can choose infrared if I want to and actually use infrared uh, which is very cool um, I can use a depth stream and I'm not sure why it's not here you go depth stream I was going to say, I'm not sure why it's not changing, but this one's really interesting. This is the one that they use in, uh, in like ghost hunters and stuff. It's very slow. I think it's because I'm recording, um, the screen while I'm using this. So it's just a little, a little bit slow. That's okay. But let's get into actually using this as a webcam. That one has all the features. I'm just going to go to color basics uh, because we just want to use it as a webcam. And here's the file. Now you might be wondering why it's in its own window. Well, OBS has a feature that will let us actually, um, let's see, oh I only have Streamlabs OBS. That's okay. Let me go ahead and install OBS right now. OBS, you can tell I've been doing some research. Let's download open broadcasting software. It's a very quick installation. So we have our webcam running. And basically what we're going to do in OBS is set up a window recorder and crop out the window itself. So I don't want to auto configure. I'm going to do a window capture and it already knows that the connect window is the one that I want. And I'll press okay. And then let's see. Let's try transform and then we are going to edit the transform 
Now on here we have crop left, right, top, and bottom. So we can actually just paste, go up a little bit, maybe like five pixels on the left, maybe six. The right, let's do the same thing. Uh, the top, let's get rid of the top. And that's about uh, 68, 69. And the bottom, let's go ahead and crop the bottom as well. The bottom is about 85. All right, and we can close this. And now we can use our Connect as a webcam in OBS. And if you want to use um, OBS itself as a webcam, so you could use it in Skype, I would recommend making this full screen, adjusting the window, and using a plugin that I found, OBS as webcam output. And here it is, OBS Virtual Cam. So you download OBS Virtual Cam, and this will output everything that is in OBS as a virtual webcam for use in Skype and um, Zoom, all those other programs like that. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty easy to set up too. Uh, and even though the window isn't in the front, it's still recording the webcam up for output properly, so it still works as it should. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on how to set this up, and thank you so much for watching. Peace.